Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's presentation about Wikidata for Education. Uh, this is a project and an initiative that aims to align the sum of all knowledge that we hold in Wikimedia with the school curriculum. And uh, this presentation will be held by me, Dian, and uh, Justice today. Um, and we hope you will like it and you will get an insight about this project and probably help to build and in, 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 in grow and push this project forward. So next slide, please. So I will first start by uh, just giving an overview about the steps or the summary of this presentation. Uh, there will be an introduction and then explaining a bit what is Wikidata for those of you who are not um, familiar with the concept of Wikidata. And then we will explain uh, the curriculum information as stricter data. And then we will talk about why do we need to model the curriculum. And we will explain where are we right now uh, at this project. And we will move to explain the curriculum data model that we came up with. And we will provide examples uh, as we use Ghana's curriculum as an example to upload it on Wikidata using the data model. And we'll move to where are we right now and what is next for us. And also uh, we will explain the campaigns that we managed to do uh, uh, that resulted uh, on top of this uh, work and uh, data project. Next slide, please. So what is this project about? Wikidata for Education is an initiative that aims to improve the world's ability to access relevant data about school curricula and to simplify and automate finding and aligning open educational resources to national curricula. It's a project that aims to use technology to, in to enhance to enhance a learning experience and foster collaboration among educators. What we mean by that is that we have a lot of resources online and at the same time, we don't know how to collect these resources and how to align them to the curriculums that exist in different parts of the world. Especially that curriculum differs from a country to another, names of levels and structure of the courses differs again from a country to another, but sometimes the names differ, but the content is the same. And we might be able to uh, standardize all of this and to modelize all of it in one place where people can just query and get the information that they need in order to provide the resources or to support this educational system. Uh, so that's what the aim of this, uh, like the main uh, idea behind this project. Next slide, please. Um, and to do so, we decided to use Wikidata. So we have a brilliant uh, project uh, that was um, introduced. And it's just, so Wikidata is technically a central storage to structured data that can be edited and read by humans and machines. And that's exactly what we needed. We needed a structure or storage where we can put the curriculum data in a readable way for people, humans, and for machines as well. So that we can, we as people, upload the data of the curriculums following the model that we will introduce. And at the same time, we can query it in order for us to do some comparative analysis, in order to provide resources, to study uh, these specific curriculums, to compare between curriculums. Like there are many use cases that can be held. So Wikidata, or the way we present these items or like these topics on Wikidata is that each object is represented as an item and each item can be described by a, a group of, of, of properties uh, and items can also be connected to each other using properties as well. So it's, it's, it's more of a, a connected uh, network of nodes where each node represents an item. Um, next slide, please. So now that we managed to find which platform we will be using for this project, which is the Wikidata, we started also to think about why, like how to upload this kind of information or the curriculum information to Wikidata. And to do so, um, we collected a few curriculums and the structure of these curriculums were a bit tough to, to, to just 
Like you cannot just copy past information from the curriculum to the Wikidata or to any structured database because the curriculums are represented under like textual format in documents such as PDFs. You can just find or paper format like each country can 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 like write down their curriculums in a specific format, either PDFs, documents uh, on websites. So it's not really something they can just use easily. So we needed to translate this information or these curriculum to a model that could be used in any uh, structured database, uh, including Wikidata in our case. That's why we decided that we need the model to transform this information into uh, a modelized um, a modelized information as well. So that's why we start working on the model and we come up with a model that could englobe all the information about the curriculum in a more structured way. Uh, yeah, next slide, please. Now, maybe you will ask why, why even bothering yourself to model this whole curriculum and to put it in a structured way and to put it in a database? Why do we need all this? I will come up with a few scenarios and use cases, and then you will see how important this project is. Let's say you're a volunteer on Wikipedia, you are editing documents, and you decided that you want to edit doc like or like write down articles that would support education somewhere or that would be aligned with curriculum somewhere. In order for you to do that, you need to know which articles are missing, which articles exist so that in that are aligned with the curriculum so that you can either improve them or create them if they do not exist exist how would you do that if you don't know what each curriculum is about or what sh what each curriculum is aligned with so to do so you can you can now do it actually with the model that we have in with and with the items that we upload in wikidata you can just write a simple query that we will show uh, afterwards in this presentation and then you can figure out which articles are missing and that are aligned with a specific curriculum in a specific country and you can take the initiative and write down an article and that's how and that's how you can easily help thousands of students to have a resource of information about a specific topic that would be aligned with their curriculum a second scenario or or like a use case that I can think of is let's say there, there there's like an educational company or like educational um, organization that wanted to support education somewhere. So they wanted to create a portal or like a website where each student or like teacher can just go type in the country, type in the level and then they will get type in also the subject let's say mathematics and they will just get the resources that would be aligned with their curriculum and for their specific level of education or stage of education how would this you know how 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 would they do it if they don't have what kind of materials or resources are needed for this specific level what kind of courses are thought or like in, in, in a specific level for a specific country, how would they know? So for us, with this model, it's possible now to, to just run a query and you will get the list of all the, 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 the subjects in the courses for a specific level, for a specific country, and then you can, you know, upload the as many as resources that you want. And you can also explore what kind of curriculums or what kind of courses these countries are teaching for a specific level. Um, another use case that I can think of is, let's say I was a researcher, a PhD candidate, and my main focus is actually education. I want to do something to improve education. And to start with, I need to do a comparative analysis between curriculums in different countries. I have no resource, like no baseline to start with. There is no um, core database where I can find these informations or where I can do some comparison. I cannot do that because the information of the curriculums are presented under PDFs and documents that you might get access to or you might not. So the idea behind this is to provide all this information somewhere and to centralize these so that anyone, absolutely anyone, can just go and uh, do their comparison and, and compare between curriculums in different countries and different levels and they can see what is lacking, what is good, what is what is probably what needs improvements, and they can come up with brilliant idea within their research that could probably boost education in this country or another one. 
the other i the other like use case i can think of um maybe we just want to build an automated bot that would answer your question about a specific country for an educational level saying like hey i want to get the curriculum for this country for this level and i want all the wikipedia article aligned with it um, you can't do this if you don't have this information as in a machine readable readable way so in order for us to make education accessible by machines by ai projects we need to provide the data so that initiatives would start from there these are like just basic like basic use cases that i can think of but there are like plenty of other use cases that you can come up with and this is why this project is important and this is what we are unlocking by modeling this information and by making it available on wikidata next slide please Where are we now? So uh, we've done the uh, data collection, which means collecting all the curriculums that we needed. First, we studied multiple curriculums to understand the difference between curriculums. And then we come up with a data model that could, at the same time, keep the localized version of the curriculums, but also try to standardize these uh, to make it easy for us to compare between them and to uh, link between curriculums in different countries. So we provided a, a data model. And the third stage was about uploading data on Wikidata, respecting the model. And uh, we run some um, campaigns and, and we took Ghana uh, as an example. And we managed to detect the missing articles in specific languages uh, for specific levels of education. And there was a campaign that uh, the user group run, uh, managed to run there, and they created many articles that were aligned with curriculums, and uh, they made this knowledge now accessible to students there. So um, it was a brilliant uh, initiative from them as well, and uh, we managed to see brilliant results out of it. Um, and now we're in the final stage of the project, which is publishing a report or like writing a report. So we're finalizing the report and that will be published soon and you can read it it will be uh, shared by 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 us um and you can read it to get more in-depth uh you know understanding of the project so this is where we are now we're in the final stage technically uh next slide please and this is the glam uh about the model uh, so this is like a simplified version of the model. It's pretty, you know, complicated, I would say, but I managed to just um, show like how items will be created on Wikidata and how they will be connected. So we always start by the parent item on the, on the left. Uh, it presents which curriculum we are trying to upload here. So we took Ghana, for example. So we are trying to upload the national curriculum of Ghana. And then this item is linked to different items that represents different level of education. So we have the first one representing the national curriculum of, of Ghana for high school, another one for secondary school, and you get and you go uh, and, and, and it goes that way. And then for each level, we present the specific educational years. So it could be the first year of high school, second year of high school, third year of high school. Each one will be represented by an item. You move again to the next stage. And for each level, for each uh, educational year, let's say the first year of educational, um, let's say the first year of high school, we will present again multiple items that would represent different subjects, math, social studies, physics, any kind of, um, any kind of, um, uh, of like subjects that we are teaching. Um, and then uh, after that, for each subject, we present uh, the specific, let's say, courses that are taught. Uh, and within that, we also define which educational level this course belongs to, which um, subjects this course, uh, this course uh, uh, is aligned to. We also present the list of courses that uh, are aligned to this subject 
and for each course we also specify the the sub parts of course because some courses are like subdivided divided to like multiple uh sub parts and uh, that's what we call their content standard it's in the right uh of of, of this of this slide so I, i'm just here trying to to share with you like an insight of how the items are created and how they are connected we start from the basic or general item that represents which country we are trying to, to, to model here. And it goes down until the tiniest detail of the course, which is like the sub part of a specific course. Uh, and that's how the model is, is that, that's how this, this whole concept is, is modelized. You can get more details um, about the model in like technical depths uh, by checking the, um, the, the official page of the, of, of the project. Uh, or also by reaching out to me, uh, you can reach out to me, um, and you can get like to discuss many, 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 de you know, technical details if you're passionate about this. Uh, next slide, please. All right. So thank you so much, um, Skena, for all this wonderful presentation. Yes. So my name is Mohamed Kamal Dinfuseni. I go with the username DN Shitogo. Um, and based on the model that Sukena has explained, we managed to upload some curriculum data, some curricular data on Wikidata. And this is just uh, a QR code you can scan to get that. So I'm just going to demonstrate this um, for you to see quickly. So if we open this, If we open this on a new tab, we are going to find um, the uploaded information based on Ghana's curriculum. Now the model was, the model provided all the information we needed, the, the structure of how the items should look like, and that was how it was uploaded. And so this is how the Ghana's curriculum looks like. So this is social studies curriculum for basic seven, basic eight, basic nine, and for all the other um, four subjects, there are more. So we again uploaded, we tried to implement this project also in Uruguay. And um, this is a QR code for that one as well. Now, we're now thinking about what is the broader perspective of Wikidata with regards to curriculum information. And if you look at this um, QR code, you're going to find all the curricular data currently uploaded on Wikidata. And that is pretty much found here. Um, because of time, I would have loved to go into the nitty gritty for you to find every item. But once you have this link, you'll be able to navigate through all the items. So for instance, if you come to Ghana, we have social studies curriculum for basic seven, social studies curriculum for basic eight, science and all the subjects that are being studied for a particular level when you go in there you are able to find what are the core competencies what are the um, content standards what are the indicators what we show that the student has learned you're going to find all that as well so we have uploaded content for ghana and also uruguay now the data we have uploaded on Wikidata were linked to Wikipedia. We wanted to find out um, how these articles can make, these items can make reading Wikipedia or the articles on Wikipedia more useful. So we created um, some queries to find out the knowledge gap. This query you are, you are seeing here um, takes us to the English articles on we English Wikipedia for social studies curriculum for basic seven. If we run this, we're going to be having, we're going to be having about 47 relevant articles linked to the Ghana's education curriculum for social studies curriculum for basic seven. Now, if this is compared with the French Wikipedia, the story changes. You are going to find that we don't have um equal number of articles that shows that there's a knowledge gap imagine someone who speaks french fluently and wants to 
be able to learn about the Ghana's curriculum on the French Wikipedia. Here we have 38 results, but on the English Wikipedia, we had 47. Um, the same story goes for the Igbo Wikipedia. Let me do for Dagbani Wikipedia. Dagbani is, uh, is a language that is spoken in Ghana. Amazing. So Ghana only have, uh, the Dagbani Wikipedia only have three uh, relevant Wikipedia articles linked to the Ghana's curriculum for social studies. We also looked at the knowledge gap for the three Wikipedia. And currently it's being worked on so that we have a balance of articles. Um, it used to be one, now it is 11. It means that we are able to, we are trying to fix the gap and efforts have been made to fix this gap. You get to learn more about this in the campaign section. So what is next year? We are looking at um, getting the few properties that are left approved so that we'll be, we'll be able to better visualize the kind of data we want to upload on Wikidata. Again, we also want to um, add more curricular information on Wikidata. If you, if you had scanned the QR code for all the curricular data worldwide on Wikidata, you'll find that we have very little information looking at the number of countries, the number of courses, the number of subjects studied in different parts of the world, we have very little. So we are looking at scaling this up, getting more communities involved, getting more user groups involved so that we get to upload relevant curricular data for each country on Wikidata and also come up with front-facing applications that will be able to help people with non-technical -back backgrounds to just click away and be able to access um this curricular data that has been uploaded and this is going to help educate teachers researchers and also students um, to learn more about uh, the relevant content that is found on wikipedia because we are looking at the total sum of human knowledge so if wikipedia and its sister projects are the total sum of human knowledge we should have curriculum data so we're going to um, continue the campaign of educating teachers, researchers, and students to better utilize Wikipedia and its sister projects. And again, we are looking at uh, continuous improvement of the model uh, while we expand on other curriculum because different countries have got different curriculum structures. And for now, with the model that we have, it, it should work for every country. Perhaps there could be some uh, there could be some changes or some little bit of bottlenecks that needs to be fixed. And yes, we will continuously up, update um, this curricular um, information. All right, Justice. Hi, everyone. My name is Justice, and I am leading um, the campaign section on behalf of the Media Ghana User Group. Um, on this campaign. Yeah, next slide. So the campaign essentially is to close the content gaps between the curriculum data uploaded to Wikidata and its corresponding articles. Um, next slide. So essentially, um, when we started um, this campaign, we were looking at the English Wikipedia and two other um, language Wikipedias, making it three. So in total, we, we were working with English, Chi, and now um, the Da Wikipedia, which is still yet in incubator, um, but then there's a, a community working on, on it. Yeah, next slide. So essentially what the campaign was to do is to create an overarching multi-part campaign that was going to improve the content in at least two subject areas. But then we ended up doing three, three subject areas, which was um, computing, science, and social studies. And then we're looking at um, uh, the basic seven, eight, and nine. Um, this was supposed to span um, a three-month period, but then 
due to um, a number of projects or, or concern, we're able to scale it down to about three or four months. And then now we've been able to host a number of the campaigns um, that we, we've done so far. Next slide. So essentially, we've run um, campaigns in the three languages, but then when with regards to the three Wikipedia, with, due to the nature of the translations that they, they were supposed to work on, they've done um, three in-person events so far. We've had one English um, event, which is on social studies, and then one translation event for the Gaon Wikipedia um, in incubator, which also we were able to do a number of edits. So, so far there, we've been able to do um, a number of um, campaigns on, on all the languages and all the language Wikipedias or, and the subjects. Now we are moving on to the next phase of the project where we wrap up with the three Wikipedia, the English, and then the GA within this month. Next, next slide. So these are uh, some photos from the campaigns that we did in the various languages. We did for social studies, we did for English, and then we did for P, uh, P, no, we did for social studies in the English language, and then we've done for um, P and G. There are, there are subsequent um, um, campaigns um, to be had within the space of the next three months, three weeks, so that we wrap up the campaign um, as well. Next slide. Um, next slide. My name is Nina Chachu. I am also known in Wikimedia as Abrewa Accra Lady. Um, my full-time job is head librarian at Ashesi University here in Ghana. I found it a lot more interesting than I was expecting. I was glad that it had links to Wikipedia and how to improve Wikipedia and the information that is there on Ghana. I think it's something really great. I think it will help uh, the students, but I think it will actually help the teachers a lot. My name is Ezekiel Adi and I'm a social media strategist for the Multimedia Group. Um, I think it's very important, especially someone who is in this space, it makes information access easy and also helps with collaboration. And in our context, people are able to have access to much more information and creates diversity in the kind of information they put out there. My personal opinion or view of this workshop, um, I think it has really further um, brought out the really important issue about diversity and the need for multicultural content on Wikipedia, yeah. Good next slide. So yeah, um, so far uh, we've done campaigns in the three Wikipedia. Um, we've also done campaigns in the Gun Wikipedia, which is in incubator. Next slide. So, um, like I mentioned earlier, we are in the last few weeks of this campaign, and we are um, learning a lot of things from, from this process. And hopefully by, by the time we are done with all the campaigns and our reports are ready, there should be a significant uh, change in how we approach some of this um, curriculum um, data, on both Wikidata and then on Wikipedia um, as well. Yeah. Next slide. Yes. 
Yeah, so um, these are uh, my colleagues um, that are led this presentation with me. Um, thank you. Again, we thank you all for following this presentation and uh, yeah, we wish that you enjoyed it and that you've learned from it. And please feel free to reach out to any one of us if you want to learn more about the project. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.